You want to go do some exercise? Wait. Uh, what happened? You went off. <laughs> My phone died. But you were saying that a true story. Yeah. Last year, last year, and that is the the probability probability high. Um, I didn't know anything about uh, like Airbnb business before. All right. So I took a short, small course, and he told me. Like if you speak to nine landlords, all right, you will get one at least to say yes. So I, in order for me to have more apartments and to run, run and manage more apartments, I have to speak in a day at least for nine people. And I have to go and view nine apartments in order for me just to get one. And Idris, I, I thought that time, like I was running already some apartment. Then I, I told Idris about it. Then I told him I took some kind of course. And this is what it says. They like knock nine doors before you can get one. And we tried it. And I said, this is the probability. Because someone has gave me the blueprint and how to do that. Then I told Idris, let's call nine people at least. All right, and let's see what will happen. And every nine calls, we got two actually. It's even Three has more. increased. And this is a, a real story. And that's yeah, how I got into the real estate business. Yeah, it, it's 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 called the law of it's called the, the law of numbers, man. It's just, it's a numbers game. It's uh um like when I when when I sold Direct TV and. And, and by the way, it, oh, wait, this is a good story. I don't think you kind of know this about me, Danny, but you don't, Idris. And sometimes I am very intense and I am very technical, but, but what you don't know about me is before prison, I ran a multi-million dollar company and I was the owner. And I, was, uh, I wasn't even old enough to drink and I was already a multiple six-figure CEO in, in the United States. Um, I took out of 300 offices, there was 300 offices that sold direct TV um, uh, I won an internship and they gave me one of the top, one of the bottom 10 offices, which was Dover, Delaware. There's an office, there's like a bunch of offices throughout the States and the United States. And I was the top sales rep out of 3000 sales reps, 3000 in the whole country. And I was number one after six months in six months, I won out of 3000. So they gave me a $148,000 contract. They're like, we're going to pay $148,000 for six months of work. And they gave me $3 million contracts with Sam's Club, Best Buy, and Walmart. And I would say, and I was, and it was my job to set up the DirecTV kiosks and DirecTV in the electronic section and all of these major retail stores. Anyways, it was, I was, I was number 296 or 90, 297, 295, something right there. Out of the 300 offices, I was in the bottom five. It took me four months to get that office to the top three. It's an unheard of. I broke the record and it still hasn't been done. Nobody's been able to go from the bottom 10 and make it into the top three in only four months. I did it like in three and a half. Because and, you and did more calls. You did more reach no. out. No, it's different. I, I challenge my entire, I'm very fucking not only creative, but I take business serious. Now you probably know how serious. Uh, I don't tell everyone this. It wasn't just Darren Little, bro. I've been a fucking, I've been a bad motherfucker. Like I've been selling. I used to make, I used to move way more money before that when I was a drug dealer. Like Darren Little taught me how to make it like legal. But and, 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 and I, I've been here. Fine. Oh, I so you make, were a drug dealer. My whole life. <laughs> Man, how much money were you earning from that? There is, I don't know. I never counted it. Oh, it man. Drug dealer, man. That's real shit, yeah. bro. Dude, that's stupid. That shit, fuck that. I used to man, get truckloads of you, bro. I used to push yeah, like man, three. I, I think you fucked your life there. In a day. So that's why like, you I'll got in prison, out. right? But nah, way worse stuff than that. They got me for kidnapping and a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh shit, bro! No way, <laughs> no way man. Yeah, so like, so I, I'm very intense, but I'm also very nice compared to what I used to be. Huh. 
so and that's and that's the thing like i don't like losing and, and <laughs> So I, I pay attention because somebody's gonna always want to come knock your block off. Somebody always wants to beat you, and it, even if it, even if they don't know that it's you that they're after, somebody does want to take your place. Even if you don't know that it's him that's coming after you, trust me, somebody always wants to take your place. Um, not on a personal thing. It's just that's just how life is. So you gotta be ready. Um, uh, but why was I talking about this direct TV thing? Oh yeah. The, the system of numbers, the law of numbers, I told everyone, this is how much you made. Every time you sold a direct TV account that we pay, I paid you a hundred dollars. Direct TV will pay me like 380 bucks. A hundred dollars goes to you. A hundred dollars goes to me. Another hundred dollars goes to the store and $80 gets split up throughout like my secretaries and shit like that throughout the, so everybody got, everybody got paid. But what I would tell people is, you're not looking for the hundred dollars, you're looking for one dollar. Every time you ask somebody for their business and they tell you no, you have one dollar. It takes you 99 people to say no before you get one to say yes. So I gave everyone a sheet and I was like, I want you to fill this up with 200 no's today. I don't want you to come back with a fucking yes. You come back with 200 no's. And everyone came back with their 200 no's and their two to three sales, period. Because it's just the law of numbers. I yeah, didn't send yeah, them yeah. to go get a yes. I sent them to go get 200 no's. I dare you to get 200 no's. And it wasn't just that, though. I mean, I had a whole system. Like, dude, I had a, my, my, my morning meetings were five minutes long. And the last 55 minutes was role playing. And you were not allowed to go to any of my stores until you closed somebody in the office at least three times. So you couldn't even go get a tour or a person until you already closed three times before that. Like I was vicious, man. And you would not believe how many people hated me in that office. Like they hated me. Like hated me. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> people were like, oh, suck my dick. Fuck you. I hate you. All right, you're fired. Get out. Everyone else that stayed with me, they all made big money. I mean, their life changed. They came in there knocking, jumping off a bus. Three months later, they have an escalator. So it's like, yeah, some didn't like it. It was too much pressure. And the ones that stuck, their fucking life changed forever. That's right. And, and that's just how it is. That's how it happened for me. I'm sure that's how it happened for Dan. That's how it happens for everyone. The that's how you are a very good closer because you already know all of these things. Yeah, but I don't tell them. I don't tell all of that stuff. Man, I feel like, I, I, I feel like, you know, how do you say this? I feel like a little chicken going out of an egg. <laughs> exactly I don't know, man. On. I feel I know nothing, bro. Bro, you are 20. What's wrong with you? You are 20. Fuck you. I have to learn now, right? Of course. This is the whole thing. Exactly. But that's... In, I mean, I mean, for, for the, the knowledge which you acquired for the past six months, it's more than a knowledge of people who are already years. 10 years. Oh, yeah, for you, to be on this, for you to be in this, in this panel right now, dude, for me to talk like, you didn't just hear what I, the fuck I just said? I had to go through all that for me to be able to talk like this. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. It's like, you ain't, you're not ready. You ain't built wait, like wait, that. Wait. It's like, <laughs> let me ask you something. Let me ask you Bro, something. The, the, the people who are in your age, they are in college right now. They don't know shit about anything. Oh man, I hate people of my age, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They are just showing the car of daddy. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's, uh, it's, it's, so we go for the nose. And I tell people, you don't look at going for a hundred dollars. And I, I like telling the story right now because it's taking me back to those days. Um, and I was a lot more intense back then because back then I was still a drug dealer and I was only 20 and I fucking have sit and I already have six figures in my bank account and I carry guns around. So it's like, I was, I was, I was still transporting drugs from Delaware to Arizona. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't even really involved in that stuff anymore. I was just doing it because I still had the connects and I had some people over there and I guess just looking out for people. Um, but why, why the fuck did I even get into this? Um, but wait, wait. I was going, I was going somewhere with it, and it had to do with 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 this. I'm glad you guys. Oh, you are recording all of this. That's horrible. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm recording. <laughs> Don't because use that it's... part. <laughs> Since he started saying you have to take notes, you have to drop a book, you have to uh, everything was being recorded. I want to play this shit. I, I want to play this shit in three years. <laughs> that's good so then there uh but that's it man um 
on the nose, bro. They're on the nose. Go yeah, for the man, nose. Man. Do the work. Let's just do our three posts every day. Let's do our lives. Let's focus on the... That's why it's called, like, marrying the process. You have to marry the process. And we're, Oh, well, actually, what did you just say right now, uh, uh, Danny? You're like, it's a process. You have to follow the process. The only people that make it are the people that marry the process and they divorce the results. What's, yeah. what's wrong with my generation, the millennials and everyone in their 20s is they want the results. They just don't want to do the process. Exactly. They're like, fuck that. It's too technical. <laughs> you remember it, Dries? I want, I want money. I want to, the, to, to drive the fucking car. I want... Because yeah. and I, 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 had, I had to work on a Dries mindset to change from being like getting just the result. And he's telling me, why my father buying for me a shitty car? Bro, in your age, nobody have a car. Yeah, true. Like from his father for free. Whatever, well, know, or know, whatever. Man, listen, I was so disappointed at that time, man. Why? I, I, my Sarah, mindset was cry. shit. Because he, was he's shit. comparing his, his grandfather's uh, life uh, to, to what he, like his grandfather was a colonel, right? Then he gave Idris dad, he gave him a Porsche when he was just in, in, in his like college days. And, and now because when uh, like Idris came from Spain to Oman and he was expecting also to receive another Porsche <laughs> and, oh, and he gave him some old car. He gave him some old car. He doesn't like that, look. <laughs> no, I still don't driving it actually. <laughs> Damn, But listen, crazy. I mean, uh, at the beginning, I didn't understood shit. I was like, shit, what's wrong with man? My mother? He gave you a car. You have a private room. You have a housemate. Who fucking live like that life? Yeah, yeah. yeah wait. Anyway, <laughs> what I mean now is like I I learned, man, thanks to you, to appreciate the things in the right place Bro, at the right time. It's not result. It's always growth. It's always the process. This is what you're gonna enjoy. Why would you fucking yeah, need true. need a nice car from your dad when you when you can buy it yourself? You know? Exactly, the feeling will not That's be the, the whole thing. It sounds that's the stupid, way at least true, I man. think now. Yeah, that at least It sounds I stupid, but it's true. Now. It's like, it's the process. And you know what really sucks? And sometimes it gets me depressed. Even knowing that once you get results, they no longer mean anything. And you can go really deep. And then that's when you realize it's all about the journey. And this is why I got so deep into being technical and understanding it because the, the better I get at it, the more fun I have in life because he does get to the point and I don't know how much of a winner you are Idris I don't know if you have trophies or belts or if you've succeeded in a bunch of things I don't know Not but really. I know for me and, and a lot of people that have successes when you go to sleep at night and you got to turn off that light and you're laying in your bed I don't know if it's ever happened to you but you realize that those trophies and everything you've won and everything you accomplished that shit doesn't matter Like the, it only matters when there's people clapping for you. Yeah. When other people are clapping for you, you feel good. The minute those people leave and no one's clapping, you're stuck with a trophy. Like, well, that was fucking a waste of time. It's like, you know, and then you realize you need to start doing things for yourself and just because you enjoy the process. Yeah. Uh, because if you're just doing it for the trophy, in your case would be just the car, it won't be as, it won't be as cool. You'll like it when you get it but it won't be, for a day it won't or be forever of course. And then you won't even have a story to tell you won't have nothing like it, your story would suck oh my dad got me the car nobody cares about that story. Yeah, exactly but if you're like look i had to do this it took me seven months to fucking get it and this and that people will get goosebumps every time they hear that story and people will love your car just because you told them that story <laughs> so everything in life is like that like yeah look at everything that changed because you can say nothing changed, but I saw it in you. Once I told you the story about direct TV and what I used to do before I went to prison. You're like, so, so now prison, it's that much harder for me because it wasn't like I was just a poor guy that went to prison. I was a poor guy that fucking made money, was at the top of the world and then went to prison. So it was the worst. It was like, so I finally made it. And then it's like, so you lost everything. Oh, all of it, man. One I question. Didn't... Like you went to prison directly for kidnapping? No, a lot more stuff than just kidnapping. They gave me like 42 charges. That was <laughs> 42 <laughs> charges, man. Let me ask you something. Have you ever killed someone? They gave me one of those. Oh shit. Who did you kill, bro? How does I it didn't feel? Kill anybody. Oh, guy. really? 
I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> they said those are the charges, bro. I didn't kidnap anybody and kill anybody. None of that shit. It just doesn't. That's with the charges. They charge you. You still have to get proven guilty, man. Yes, but you go to jail for being charged, not for being proven guilty or not. That's why I only did four years. They gave me 45 years to life, and after court, it ended up only being four. So, like, you're scared shitless Damn. for two years. Yeah, they gave me life, man. From 45 to four. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah that's blessed. what happened. You're they gave me 45 to life, and I ended up with 45 minimum. But if I signed that to get deported, I can leave after four. So I was like, where do I, where's the fucking paper? Where do I sign? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Do you, can so I you get four to, just to get deported and that's it. Yeah. It's a good deal. Okay, so you went to jail yeah. in Mexico. Uh, it's a super good fucking deal. They're like, oh, you can stay in America as long as you do 45 years in prison or you can leave forever and you get to get out next year. I'm like, right. So where's the paper? <laughs> <laughs> So right now you, you you cannot get go back to US, right? Or no? If I if I get caught over there, I have to do my time. It's a, it's suspended upon me being deported. So if I come back, it's no longer suspended. I have to finish the 45 years. Shit. Okay. So you can no longer go to US. In which part of uh, USA you were? All of I lived in 20 states, man. All your life, man, basically. In 20s, nah, it's because I was in the army at 17 as well. I don't know if I told you that, but I joined the army. USA at army, yeah, I was a supply sergeant. Oh, crap! Yeah, what you ain't got shit, story. man. What a good story, man. He was in kickboxing, also, or whatever. I don't know, fighter yeah. or something. That sounds good, man. Yeah, man, but that's that's uh, that's the thing. And I think when we first started talking, the, our first conversation was about finding your purpose. And this is why I was telling you that don't worry about having that. Because it's like, I've done so much shit and I don't even know what the fuck my purpose is. <laughs> like, this, like, don't worry about all that. Yeah. Just move. You know? Just move, just, just, bro, just move. That's it. Because really, you're just going to enjoy the ride. It really doesn't matter. Nothing else. Even if you found your purpose, you're still only going to enjoy the ride. Yeah. yeah. When Should you said it the first time, I realized something. Imagine, uh, you know, these roller coasters, imagine you get on it, right? And that's life. That's when life starts. It that's starts it going. Is. And the point of it, it's enjoy the roller coaster while it's moving, right? It's the process that it's doing. So it moves forward. So now I'm not enjoying it because I'm thinking, bro, what, what will happen when I arrive? I want to arrive now. I don't want to be in the fucking happens roller coaster. When you arrive. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Nothing, you will arrive bro. to the same fucking place, man. <laughs> Nothing happens, bro. Like, it's a fucked up story, but like that story, like even when you get to the millions of dollars, guess what happens? Nothing. It's just so fucking cool to say I'm a millionaire. Nothing, bro, nothing. You still put on your pants the same way. You still have the same fucking breakfast. You're still going to have the same dad and mom. You're still going to smell the same. You're still going to go to sleep at the same time. You're going to wake up and eat the same shit. You're still going to watch the same things on TV that you watch. And you're probably going to have the same job. And you're probably going to still talk to the same people. You just have millions now. Let's say you go get a Ferrari. It's cool. You got it. But guess what changed? Nothing. You're still going to have the same parents. You're still going to smell the same. You're still going to have the same clothes. You're still going to wake up at the same time and eat the same food. Like, it took me a lot of times of making money and losing it to realize that it literally is just a journey. It's just a fucking journey, man. It's just a journey. Because during the journey... It, you don't wake up at the same time. You don't eat the same things. You don't wear the same. It's like right now, I didn't even sleep. They're like, dude, it's eight in the morning. Why are you having to sleep? Because I'm fucking in the middle of the journey. If I have yeah. the money, you think I'd be awake right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> because you now you bought you bought your freedom with money. That's the price you which you pay for freedom, right? It's money. Why do people want more money? Because they want more freedom. Ah, uh, they want more accomplishments because it gets to the point where the, you, it gets to the point where like Bill Gates, he can have all the freedom in the world if he wants, but he gets an accomplishment from working on things. Do you know, have you ever heard of this or, and you guys are man, but you might not be that kind of man. Have you, there's two, there's a couple, there's different kind of men. There's the man that always has to fix things. He goes crazy in the house. And his wife knows him for that. Like, he's always looking for a squeaky chair to fix. 
he's looking for the fossil, the, the uh, yeah, faucet, I know, the water I know. to fix. I know he's always just this. looking to fix. Yes. And if there's nothing broken, guess what he does? He breaks it just to fix it. That's Fabricio. <laughs> because because they, they, they have, listen, because us men, we have to constantly be on the move. We have to be fixing shit. But then there's men like me that I fix things mentally, not physically. I'm not good with being a mechanic and fucking moving a ranch and shit like that. So when everything's going really good for me, I self-sabotage. I start making problems mentally so I can fix them. It's just like a person that's physical. He fucking starts like, I think this church broken. Like, no, it's not, babe. Like the wife is like, leave the fucking chair alone. No, no, it's squeaking. And he wants to fix it, even though there's nothing wrong with it. It's because it's the man in him that's making him always find a problem to fix. Why do you think men are always telling the, everyone how to do and what to do? They're always looking for a problem to fix. It's like a woman. A woman always needs to be occupied. That's why she will be on the phone and she's cooking and she's taking care of the baby and she's still talking to her husband at the same time. This is why you always want to have her doing things like the lioness. You always want her doing shit. The minute you make it too easy on her, she's going to cheat on you. Because she has to, that's why they want to go to parties. That's why they want to uh, always be going out. That's why they love having fun. They have to be fucking, be multitasking. A guy doesn't want to multitask. A guy wants to do one thing and he wants to make sure that there's a purpose behind it. It's broken and that's why I'm fixing it. And now he feels like a man. It's like, and that's, <laughs> okay. that's how it works. It's a process. So, that's the process. So then you realize, I say all that to say this, Idris, you realize that as a man, the only time you will be happy in your life is while you're in the middle of the process. I hope you got that, man. I, I gave you some it. shit that people in 50, 60, 70 years of age won't ever get. Though, but this is why they suffer their whole life. This is why they go broke. This is why they don't have the happy wife. This is why they don't have the happy kids because they never understood that a, a, that a male alpha energy always has to be in motion constantly for you to find happiness. You're always going to find, feel a void, always. All men have that void, all men. And, and, and most people that don't understand that they want to fix things mentally or physically, they, they opt for doing drugs or going to parties or they go really deep into the religion. They want to fill the void when in reality, all they have to do is move forward. It's almost like an airplane. The higher you are, the faster you're going, the safer you are. Other than that, it's like you're fucked, right? And the, and that and anyways, that's the that's a grown up uh, grown up lesson today. <laughs> that was <laughs> that, nice, actually. That was it was solid, dude. That was a, that was a good one. Oh, it's good that yeah, it's recorded. Record it. was, it's recorded. It's recorded. Yeah, that was a solid one. I just I just actually. Um, truth be told, I just made all that shit up because I can, I didn't make it up, but I mean, I mean, I made up the spill. It really does work like that, but it all just came to my head like that. Just putting shit together because it, it is like that. That's it is like that. Good. That's how it works, man. That's how it works. But that, the whole time that you've been alive, man, 30, what is it? 33 years? I'm 33. Right. 33 years that you've been alive as a man, I'm sure. Right. 33 years as a man. Am I wrong about what I said about how you're always looking to fix something and you can't be too bored? If you're bored, you either get in trouble or you go break something and get fucking fix it. Yeah. You yeah. might have never thought about that. You <laughs> might have never. You, dude, how many times have you bought into a program where you don't need to buy into any more programs? You just did it because you're bored with the other ones. Yeah. How many? You right. always are looking for a puzzle to fucking fix constantly. I constantly. bought. I bought thousands of them <laughs> not hundreds you're always looking for a positive fix it's the man in you you're like i need to fucking fix it if i cannot do it physically like fix a car and shit i need to do it mentally which is something like this right um and 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 that's that's the thing though you guys oh for the journey and this is why millennials and people my age fucking suck because they don't know these rules. And this is why I wanted to make the page in the group. If they understood that it's only the journey that would not only fulfill you, make you feel like a bigger man and make feed you the energy that you need as a man, uh, they will stop trying to go for the results so fast and they will focus on the process. And because that's why they quit every time because they don't enjoy the process. 
And, and, and that's why my generation is nothing but a bunch of quitters and fucking crybabies because they're looking for something that's not even there. That's why none of them make it. That's right. I mean, I don't, you can't go for the results. You have to go for the process. You are not going to make it by going for the results. There's nothing there. It just goes against your nature. You're an alpha male. You're excited about, I'll, I'll leave it to you very simple. Imagine a mechanic at home and every car is fixed. He goes fucking nuts. He goes crazy. <laughs> Imagine a mechanic where every car in his neighborhood is fixed and every car in his lot is fixed. He's dead. He doesn't even have any business anymore. Exactly. He's mentally, physically, financially, he's dead. That's why so those people, cars always, they break down because they were created to be fixed. There you go. <laughs> Everything. Everything. <laughs> But that's that that that's the thing, man. We got to stay on the journey. We got to keep on the process, and we got to keep going. Because if not, we fucking we lose. Definitely. You guys want to add anything? No, no, no. Let's crush it. No, you should go no, and get some to... sleep, bro. You should get some sleep. We'll get get on later on the call. Then we will do the fifteen minutes live. All right. All right. Let's do it. All right, well, well then I'll call you guys when I get up. Or so, yeah, so, so when you wake up, just let us know. We'll be on the call probably. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. All, all right, right well, man. We'll, all right, be man. Working, we'll be working on all these things. All because right. Right, right now, um, I, Idris, I sent you the two videos from yesterday, and I'll send you this new one. We have to. Where are you sending it? In, in your email, Idris at Mosaic. Okay. okay. We'll I like that the little YouTube. lesson though that we did right now. If I could get that little snippet and we'll put it up on a, cause that was a good little alpha energy fucking thing. Yeah. That's a <laughs> hidden jewel, man. Yeah, we will, we will, uh, we will, we will make the YouTube channel right now, and we will upload all of them. I think we should not snip anything now. Just keep it there. Anyway, nobody's going to watch them. So you can yeah. always, yeah, you can keep them there, and yeah, yeah that's good. And you could always snip it out of YouTube, which is easier. Yeah, because uh, the, the, yeah, later on, like wh wh whenever we have time, because that's a lot of work also for snipping out things. You know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So then, so then, all right, cool. So then I'll call you guys. So we'll upload the whole thing, whatever is there, we'll upload. Yeah. The whole thing. That we sounds have good. four videos upload so far. Up and you sleep in there. Yeah. yeah we, we have four videos. videos so, far. so we'll let them hold our memory. All right, you guys. All, All right, right man. Take care. See you later. Thank Bye. you guys for your time. Take Done, care. bro. Done. So, Listen. bro, there's two videos already. I sent it to you on your uh, email. So we'll make the YouTube page, YouTube channel. Okay. Also the also the three marketeers, and we Done. will upload all these videos now. Where what we have right now. Done. Yeah. Listen, I will go do exercise, and I will get a book. When I finish, I will talk to you. Okay. See you. Okay. See you. Okay.